Welcome you all in video lecture series for microcontroller. Today we are going to perform our experiment number 3 interfacing of stepper motor with 8051 microcontroller with the help of timer. So, what we are going to do? We are interfacing a stepper motor with the help of 8051 microcontroller and providing a timer 0 interrupt for delay function. Okay. So, objective as of practical is to interface the stepper motor with 8051 and rotate it continuously with some delay which is generated by the timer of 8051. So, first of all, in theory part, we are going to learn what is meant by the stepper motor. So, actually, there are two types of stepper motor first one is unipolar and second one is bipolar. So, unipolar polar motor consists of total 5 to 6 wires and four coils so these five coils are actually connected to each other and consist of one common pole so in bipolar stepper motor it doesn't consist of a common connection like a unipolar and it have total four wires coming out of it so it consists of total four coils and each coil is energizes according to operation so look at here it is the structure of unipolar stepper motor consisting of four coils out of which two two coils are connected to each other and making one connection so when one coil is energized the motor will rotate in that way and another coil is energized motor will rotate in that way so working of stepper motor so before going for working of stepper motor we will look towards how to connect the stepper motor to controller so controller pins are connected to a l293d connect stepper motor con controller which is used widely used for controlling the stepper motor is it is total 16 pin con controller ic consisting of four inputs from controller and four outputs to the stepper motor and the stepper motor common pin is connected together and it provided with 12 volt power supply as stepper motor run on to a 12 volt supply so we are providing here the l293d controller ic so driving of stepper motor basically stepper motor can drive in two ways first one is we can drive the stepper motor in half mode and full mode so this is the structure of half mode where the windings a b c d are get energized alternatively so that we can get the proper output this is the full drive mode full drive mode consists of energizing two coils at a time so in step one we are energizing the a and b coil by putting one from microcontroller then next b c then next it is c d and up next it is a and d so the hex number which are going to generate from this sequence are fed to the microcontroller this is the full drive and this one is the half drive it is the mixture of hard half drive plus full drive so that we can uh, provide some fast angle to the stepper motor ic now next moving towards the working of stepper motor so this is actually what the stepper motor works look like this is the connection of stepper motor consisting of four windings here look at here winding a then a bar b and b bar so when each wind get energized according to that the rotor of the stepper motor is rotating and we get the output so if we are going for the full step then look at here when we give a first step the motor will move towards the b b bar look at here first step what we are getting in the decimal form the value is 6 this is the sequence for first step we are energizing b and a bar so it will move towards b and a bar for next step it is going to move towards a bar b bar look at here it is moving towards the a bar b bar so this is how the stepper motor works in full step mode so what we have to do for this we have to provide these decimal values of full view to controller IC so that the stepper motor can 
moving clockwise direction okay so this is for full view now when we are going for half view look at here for half view the all these operation are going to perform and all these sequences are fed to controller step by step look at here with the help of this the over it every one coil is energizes once and so that the step can move in that direction so this is what the working of step on motor in half wave and full wave now next we are going to a practical so in practical what we are going to do we are making but memory location we are starting with some memory location 0 0 0 h now next what we have to do we have to only continuously fed this full wave value means what 9 then it is 12 6 and 3 continuously to controller look at here we are feeding 9 then instead of 12 we are writing 0 c in hex for 12 then 6 and 3 we are move continuously feeding this to controller and getting a output of rotating the stepper motor in clockwise direction with some delay now here for delay we are providing a logic of timer so now next what we have to look we have to look towards the working of timer So this is the timer in 8051 actually 8051 consists of a 16 bit timer timer 0 and timer 1 which will get partition with 88 bits mean timer 0 is get partition with TL0 and TH0 each one is of 8 bit and TL1 TH1 which is of 8 bit and timer mostly consists of two types of resistor one is T mode resistor used for a time out mode register and t -con for timer control register so this is the architecture of t mode consisting of eight total eight bits and what will be the application we have to do we have to perform the we have to provide the zero and ones what we are needed here so gate gate is used to if we provide a zero to gate it will provide a software timer we can start it with software timer and if we provide one then we can start it with the hardware timer slash slash t is used to provide the what we have to use if we have to use a counter then we can provide here one and provide zero to work on to timer then this is the mode selection bits m0 and m1 which we will use to uh, dip, select the different types of mode consisting of four modes out from this mode we can differentiate it with the help of pulses means different mode consists of different type of pulses so this is the mode architecture if in mode 0 total pulses are 8192 likewise for m1 m2 and m3 so this is what the actual working of timer so this now next it is a ticon register consisting of total 8 bits for timer 0 and timer 1 from this we are going to use tf and tr so tf is used for timer flag bit set it will set the timer flag bit for that particular mode means it will uh, increment up to fffh automatically so we need this tf flag and tr flag is used to set the timer for stop and start bit of particular timer so for stop and start of any timer for timer 0 and timer 1 we provide the tr with name of number of that timer so this is what the working of timer now next look at the program for step of motor interfacing so what we are going here we have providing each sequence like 0 9 to port 2 0 c to port 2 0 6 to port 2 and 0 3 to port t so this is the overview for stepper motor but for delay for delay what we are going to do we are here we are using a timer 0 so th0 tl0 consists of 0 0 h value and t mode consists of 0 1 h so what is meant by 0 1 so suppose i have right here 
zero one. So I uh, here all first four bits are zero. Means what? I am not using timer one. And here we are using a timer zero in mode here which is M one and M zero. So we are using the timer mode zero in mode one. Okay. We are using timer zero in mode one. Now next what we have to do? We have to initialize the start bit of timer zero. So it is set by set bit tr zero. So it is a run bit of timer zero. So timer zero is going to be run. Next jnb jump with not borrow up to tf zero comma again. So what this instruction means? The flag bit of tf zero is not equal to ff h. Up till now, what we have to do? We have to pro produce same process. Okay, means when the tf zero becomes f f f f h. Okay, for four times f, then we have going to move towards next line because what we are using timer zero in mode one. Mode one consists of total sixty five thousand five hundred fifty three pulses. Okay, so up to these pulses, the process will going to execute. Continuously. After that, after that, what we have to do? Here we have set the TR zero means st start bit of timer zero. Now next we have to clear it. We have to provide a stop bit. So to provide a stop bit, the instruction is clear TR zero. So here we are providing a stop bit of timer zero. Then next we have clear the flag bit of TF TF zero means what? We are clearing the flag of timer zero. As it becomes a f f f h, okay, and then returning to our main program, then it is end execution of the practical, okay. So what we are going to do? We are just saving the program and compiling it, okay. But before compilation, if we look at these values nine c six three, okay. So look at here. Nine, okay. Nine, twelve means C six and three. These values are the rotate right bit, okay. If we consider its configuration, then it is in rotate right mode. So without writing this all instruction, okay. Without writing this all total lines, what we are going to do? We can write this program alternately in this way. So instead of all these instruction, what we are going to do? We are shifting a one value to accumulator, then this value shifted to port and rotating right to accumulator. So that what we are getting, we are getting a next value means what from zero nine we are getting a zero C with the help of this instruction. Zero C is fed to port number two. Then zero C is when we are right shifting to zero C, we are getting the zero. Six value. So likewise, we can write this program in two way, either this way or either this way. Okay. So I am going to execute this program. After compilation, what we are going to do? We have make a schematic for this practical. And here I am burning the hex file for step motor. So hex file is open over here. So after running this practical, what here? Look at the result. The stepper motor is continuously shifting in clockwise direction with this RPM. Okay, it shows the RPM of stepper motor and it continuously rotating in stepwise direction. So this is the practical number five of interfacing the stepper motor with 8051. We are burning the code for flash magic. Okay, here we are creating the hex file. Look at here, hex file is created. Now open the flash magic software. Here, give the path for step of motor hex file. Click on to OK, and then what we have to do? We have to go for start. Okay. After start, the message will pop up. So that what we have to do? Look at here the connection of step of motor. Here connected port number two to input of the L293, and output is connected to the step of motor. Then provide a reset. So after reset, the program is get burn into a Kit, then go for the reset again. So after reset, we see the output at stepper motor. Look at here, the stepper motor is rotating in 
clockwise direction so this is the operation performed for rotate right so this is the hardware simulation of practical number 5